What's up everybody and welcome back to another week of Skyrim Mods Weekly. This is a series where I show you some of the best mods to come out for Skyrim each and every week leading up to the release of Skyrim Remastered. At that point it's going to transition into a Skyrim Remastered Mods Weekly and we'll check out all the mods coming out for consoles and PC. This week we do have a pretty good collection of mods, a diverse bunch, some practical, some a little bit more sleuty, but nothing too insane nonetheless. As always I hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you do I encourage you to consider subscribing, but with that let's get right into it. So first and foremost, we have Gifts of the Outsider. This is a relatively old mod that just got a new update and kind of a little bit of an overhaul. I'm actually showing the trailer of the mod in the background. It is actually really well done and will convey something better than I will. More or less, what this mod does is add in a fully voiced companion and a quest. And on that journey, you'll find yourself trying to take on some different beings. And basically, at the end, you can get some of the different powers that are from Dishonored. If you've never played Dishonored, it's actually really good to just go play this quest, check it out, because there's some really cool powers for Skyrim and a ton of fun it actually makes it quite a bit difficult to get the powers i don't want to give any spoilers obviously because well you want to go do it yourself but again very cool i just think you guys should just go play the quest and try this mod out because it's pretty awesome Next up, we have the Fur Armor set. So this is an interesting mod. Basically, it adds in a whole set of fur armor, and basically, it's really modulated. So there's different pieces for each different part of your body, except your legs. I don't know why, but this mod has nothing for your legs. They just get screwed over. There are seven parts to the set, a hat, a poncho, gloves, boots, muffler, earmuffs, and a shoulder cape. There are then seven styles for each of these. So black fur, white fur, brown fur, pattern fur, etc. Something that's actually really cool with this mod that a lot of people do take advantage of it is actually mixing and matching this with existing existing armor pieces. So let's say you have a normal armor, you could actually add a fur brim to a lot of them based on using one of like the poncho or the muffler. This looks really cool and especially if you're really into roleplay, you could use your original armor set and then when you're going into a wintry region, you can put that on to be a little bit warmer. All around, it's a pretty cool armor, a little bit different than some of the other armors out there. I really like this simply because of how you could use this with other armors. I think it meshes really well and creates a really nice aesthetic. So next up we have better vampire weapons. So basically the lore behind this is a bunch of vampires are moving into Skyrim and they are attacking people and thus developing new weapons in order to make themselves more efficient. You can find these weapons scattered around the map following a bunch of clues. The mod author did request that you don't really give away too much about the mod for those of us who don't want to just have everything ruined for us or spoiled and rather you could just follow the clues and actually find these on your own. It's a pretty cool mod. Each of the locations do add in a new weapon and the location itself has a bit of a story around it. It's a good mod to experience for yourself. You don't have to be a vampire to use any of these weapons and all of them are pretty high quality and some of them have some cool effects making them more fun to use than just a traditional weapon. The Dwemer Storage Cube. So this is actually a really cool mod. I actually really like this mod for personal use. Basically what this adds in is a cube to your inventory. Upon activating the cube, you're going to be teleported into your new portable player home. Inside you have all the essentials, some different crafting and smithing stations, a bed, and a ton of storage for all the items you could possibly have. And then as upon using the cube again, you'll be teleported right back to wherever you were prior. This is an awesome mod and especially for making videos on mods. Sometimes I don't know exactly what equipment I'll need and then fast traveling around is it gets a little obnoxious this one you could just go into this little cube get everything you need or change your equipment and then just travel right back out to where you were standing previously it is probably not balanced at all it is a little overpowered in that sense but if you're a later game character and you're just sick and tired of having to fast travel somewhere run into your house blah 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 and you want to just have a quick and easy fix this is that and i really like it for it so last but not least, we have Uriel the Archangel. So this is a new follower mod, and it's a little bit more unique than some of the other followers. It definitely has a slooty mindset behind it, so take it or leave it at that, but it is a little cooler as I think the character itself is kind of cool. It is meant to be an Archangel, and basically it fills that role really well. The wings on her are absolutely awesome. They're basically transparent and giving you a very godlike feel. On top of that, her whole armor feels that kind of theme and makes her just feel like that kind of character. On top of that, her weaponry, and she is a mage as well do make her kind of viable although in combat she's pretty useless just like every other companion in the game but kind of fun to look at has a good carrying weight and a little bit more unique than some of the alternatives i also like her eye glow i think that's a really nice touch that's going to pretty much wrap up this episode of skyrim mods weekly though as always i thank you guys for watching i do hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you all next time later